Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to do another guide of Valorant, how to boost your FPS in 2022. Uh, my last guide was last year, I think. So a lot of stuff changed with Windows and also Valorant. So we're going to make sure that you have the proper setting to make sure that you're running the most of your computer for this game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a, a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphics setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's gonna show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for Nvidia, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is, sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's gonna make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32, just divided by two. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2%, 10% boost in your FPS, depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game. So we're going to go to video general. The first one is the display mode super important to play full screen don't use windows full screen or window it's causing some random stuttering so that's why I always use full screen for resolution super important to use your native resolution so 
In my case, it's a 2K monitor with 170 Hertz. You should see your Hertz over there. I know a lot of people have an eye refresh rate uh, monitor, but they didn't activate it on Windows. So they're playing at 60 and they don't even know. So super important to see your amount of Hertz depending on your monitor. If it's a 144, 170, 240, whatever. After that, your monitor, make sure that you're playing on your main. But anyway, you will probably find out <laughs> when your game will be on the wrong monitor. Aspect ratio meta, I'm playing at letterbox. And after that, you have a couple of uh, limit FPS that you can use. So if you're playing on a battery, just go with 30. Menu, I recommend to go with 60. Uh, don't go too crazy with menu. I know some folks uh, are unlocking their FPS in the menu. And they're getting some thermal issue with their GPU and CPU. So don't go too crazy. Just lock it at 60. Background, I recommend 30. And for the limit of FPS... I really recommend to use the limit from um, Valorant. Don't use the, run, the one from Radeon or Nvidia. Uh, you will um, gain a little bit of... Uh, you will have less input lag when you use the uh, lock from uh, Valorant. So, uh, in my case, I have a 170Hz monitor uh, it, with FreeSync uh, technology. So, I can't go over 170FPS uh, because I will lose my FreeSync. So, that's why I'm locking my FPS at 167 and I'm, I have like some kind of gap because sometimes it hit 168. So, I don't want to uh, have some random tearing when I'm playing. So, that's why I'm locking it at 167. For the graphic, I recommend to use the multi-thread uh, rendering. If you have like 6-core, 8-core, 12-core processor, it will help a lot. Uh, for the past like 5 or 6 years, we're getting a lot of cores on our CPU. So that's why I recommend to using it. Uh, don't use it if you're playing on a very old computer with like 2 cores and 2 uh, threads or 4 thread. Uh, but uh, the majority of the people should use it. Material quality, I recommend to go with low. You can expect a nice 4 to 5% boost in your FPS. Texture quality, if you have 4 gig of VRAM and more, go with high. If you have 3 gig, go with medium. Less than 3 gig, with, go with low. Detailed quality, I recommend to go with low. You can expect a 4% boost in your FPS. UI quality, vignette, go with low and off. And uh, yeah, exactly. Um, so you can expect another like 3% boost in your FPS. Not too much over there. After that, you have free, uh, the V-Sync. I recommend to go with off if you have free sync or G-Sync uh, technology on your monitor. Super important. If you don't have that, I still recommend to not using the V-Sync. It adds input lag when you're playing a game like Valorant. It's really important. If you don't like your uh, T-Ring because you don't have the V-Sync on, just test it. If you put it at on, it will remove the T-Ring, but you will add input lag. Anti-aliasing, I recommend to go with none. You can expect a nice 8% boost in your FPS. And I really prefer this game without any uh, anti-aliasing. It's better for the visual clarity. Uh, I know some folks are playing at 2x. Not a huge fan. I just remove in any like shooter, I always remove the anti-aliasing. And it's tropic filtering. If you're playing texture quality at high, you can definitely go with 16 here. If you have like a modern card, no problem here. If you have like uh, you're playing at medium, go with 4x. And if you're playing on an old like integrate GPU and stuff like that, go something with 2 or 1x. Improve clarity. The way they phrase it, it's supposed to be good, but don't use it. Put this one at off. First of all, you will gain a nice 6% boost in your FPS. And it doesn't help for the clarity, so go with off. I'm not a huge fan also the experimental sharpening, so go with off. I recommend to use the one from Radeon or the one from NVIDIA. Uh, in my case, I'm using the one from Radeon and I'm putting it at 50%. Um, and I recommend to use a sharpening in this game. It's better to see the enemy uh, and it doesn't impact your FPS, but don't use the one from Riot. Uh, Bloom distortion and put those one at off. Better image clarity and also you will gain like 2% boost in your FPS. And the last one is Cast Shadow. I recommend to go with Off. It will give you a nice 7% boost in your FPS. If you're going to stats, that's pretty cool in this game. You don't have to download MSI Afterburner and stuff like that. So you can like show a lot of like different stuff. I really like to see my FPS, the tick rate of the server, the total frame time, just to make sure that everything is fine. And normally I always use the uh, packet loss because I want to know like, sometimes is it like... Do I have an issue with my internet or uh, it's my computer who's struggling right now? So, but you can 
honestly you can activate a lot of different stuff that's a good thing about this game you can do a lot of testing to make sure that you have the uh, optimized settings when you're playing the game so this is pretty much it guys if you have any question just comment in the youtube section post me your rig cpu gpu and ram i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace